Hi friends and hi viewers, it's Andy and for today's video, we are going to check out the Lenovo C330 Chromebook. So this actually comes in the color Blizzard White. Tinakpan ko lang siya ng laptop skin from September ko. So anyway, I'll be placing the product links on the description box so that you know where to get both the Chromebook and the laptop skin if you happen to be interested. I'm making this video as per the request of Jazel Joy Ilikan. Basil Joy Iligan. So, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Pero, ayan po. Siya po ang nag-request. Nagawan ko to ng video. And, I've also received the message on my website through the contact form. Someone was also asking about my experience with this Chromebook from Lenovo. So, here I am. And, I'm making this video. Not just for them, but also for you guys. Disclaimer lang po, I'm no expert when it comes to gadgets and computers. I'm just a consumer sharing my honest thoughts based on my experience with the products that I use. So, ito siya. Pero, sige, bago tayo mag-start, i-share ko lang. I got the Chromebook because my Acer laptop crashed and I needed a gadget that would still allow me to do my work. So, I didn't need a laptop with advanced features and so I decided why not try this Chromebook from Lenovo. So, naisip ko na Lenovo kasi meron akong good experience with their phones na kahit nahulog na ilang beses, gumagana pa rin and matibay pa rin. But there are actually plenty of Chromebooks out there. So many brands offer Chromebooks. We have Dell, HP, Acer, basta marami. So, kayo na po ang bahalang mag-check out. And of course, this one also, Lenovo. Okay, so hindi ko na siya ma-unbox kasi in-order ko to nung Feb. It's been 4 months so I don't have the box with me anymore but I still have, of course, the items that came with it such as the charger and yung meron siyang free na Chromebook sleeve, color black. Tapos syempre, ang ating Chromebook. So ito siya. Super gaang lang niya guys. I think ano to, 1.2 kg. So it's very light. It's very compact, di ba? So let's open this now. Ito turn off ko siya ulit, tapos ito turn on ko para makita niyo yung welcome screen pag bukas niyo sa kanya, okay? So, itong Chromebook is a Google device. So, you're gonna have to have a Google account for you to be able to use it. So, whatever your Google account name is, yun yung lalabas dito. And the password that you use for your Google account is the same password that you use to open your Chromebook. Let me just pop in. Kung wala ang Google account, you should sign up for one. So, pag sign in, ito na siya. Yun yung vision board ko, guys. Nakikita nyo na. This is how it looks like. Actually, this one is so easy to set up. In less than 30 minutes, pwede nyo na siyang ma-set up. Mag-sign in kayo sa Google account nyo, you change your account photo, you change your wallpaper, yung team, download yun yung mga gusto nyo i-download to your Chromebook, and so on. What I like about this Chromebook the most is that it's convertible. Kung mahilig ka manood ng movies, pwede mo siyang I-fold. Pwede mo siyang ilagay sa tent mode. Ayan. You can watch your favorite shows on YouTube or on other websites or kung meron ka namang nakasave sa flash drive, pwede mo siyang panoorin. Pwede rin siyang parang tablet style. If you wanna play games or kung ano man ang gusto mong gawin. Ayan. Pwede rin. Or kung magbabasa ka, diba? Ayan. Basa-basa. And pwede rin siyang of course, yung parang laptop. Yeah. Usually, ganito ko siya ginagamit. Hindi ko naman siya masyadang ginagamit as tablet. It's either ganito as laptop or naka-tent mode. Kasi magandang manood ng videos or ng movies. Naka-tent mode. Pag naka-ganito kasi na nakakailang siya guys. Kasi ma-feel mo yung keyboard. Tapos feeling mo baka masira siya. So, syempre, iniingatan natin, di ba? Kaya tent mode na lang. Very, ano siya, flexible. Pag nakahiga ka rin sa bed, pwede lang siyang nakaganyan lang, diba? Straight body. And it's very low maintenance as well. So, I just have to charge this for an hour and tatagal na siya for 9 to 11 hours. It depends on what you're doing. Pero if you're just typing, you know, doing some reports, 
using Google Docs or Google Sheets, hindi ka naman masyadong nagmamarathon, kaya niyang tumagal ng 9 to 11 hours. For the file explorer, you just have to look for files. So, punta ka dito sa launchpad and then just click files. And you'll be redirected na doon sa files mo. So, I forgot to mention, touchscreen din pala siya. For the product specifications, I'll just be placing it on the description box. And I'll also be including a link to one of my blog posts. Yung blog post ko about this Chromebook that might be more helpful than this video. I'm not so sure. But anyway, yeah, just check out the description box, guys, please. Of course, ito din po ay mas mura kaysa sa laptop. So, kung ikaw ay estudyante or if yung work mo naman doesn't require the use of sophisticated software, this is a good gadget to own. Lalo na kung lagi kang nagta-travel kasi ito ay 14,495 pesos only. So, malaki yung difference ng price niya compared dun sa laptop. No? Of course, syempre iba naman yung kaya ni offer ng laptop. Now, of course, it also has a few cons and isa na dyan ay yung matigas niyang crackpad. That's why if you're getting a Chromebook, it's definitely a must that you buy a Bluetooth mouse. Siyempre, meron ding mga software na hindi compatible with a Chromebook. That should be a consideration for you. Again, if you work mo, I nagre-require for you to have advanced or sophisticated software. Um, before you purchase a Chromebook, check nyo muna if it's compatible. Tapos, to make the most out of your Chromebook, it's so much better if you have the internet all the time. Although, kung wala kang internet, you can always have the option to work offline. Meron naman silang extension na Google Docs offline. Yan. Meron silang extension so that you can still work offline. But preferably, it's best to have internet all the time when you're using your Chromebook kasi it's cloud-based. Yung local storage then is limited. So if you have a lot of photos, videos, or documents that you want to store in your Chromebook, you might want to invest in a hard drive also para you have enough space for all your files. Bale, ayun lang naman guys. Tingin ko ito talaga ay value for money. That's based on my experience and my needs. Uh, gustuhan ko na value for money siya. Very affordable. It's very functional. You know, it allows me to do my work still, as I said earlier. So, for me, kasi yun lang naman yung mahalaga. Yun, yun kasi yung needs ko. So, it would actually depend on your needs. So, kung for online schooling, I think pwede to. I think a lot of students also use Chromebooks for their schooling. If you're a freelancer or if you're working remotely, this can also help with doing reports or if you travel a lot for your job and syempre hindi mo naman madadala yung buong desktop with you when you go out or ang hirap naman diba kapag sobrang bigat ng laptop mo then I think it would be really good to invest in a Chromebook. So yun po ay opinion ko lang ha and based on my experience kasi talagang happy ako with this one. I've purchased products before na sobrang pinagsisihan ko but with this one I think it's really good. Also, when you purchase a Chromebook, meron kayong free 100 gig storage from Google One. Teka, i-check ko lang. For one year, free 100 gig storage na yun. After that, it's up to you kung gusto niyo pang magtuloy-tuloy. 89 pesos per month na lang siya after one year. And don't worry, kasi yung mga files na sinave nyo doon, even after your free storage expires, naka-store na siya doon. So, kung gusto niyo lang mag-extend. Generally, I find this product value for money. Yun po ang aking opinion. Siguro sa ibang tao is hindi, pero sa akin po oo. Ayun. I guess that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, this is Andy and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye!